Monday, September 24th, and Adam and I just returned from a great hunt in Kansas with 10 reasons we want to go back again next year. Growing Deer TV is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops, also by Reconyx, Trophy Rock, Non-Typical Wildlife Solution, Muddy Outdoor, Eagle Sea, Nikon, Winchester, Redneck Hunting Blind, Dead Downwind, Record Rack, Foxworthy Outdoors, Set Master, Antler Dirt. It's muzzleloader season in Kansas. Last Wednesday, Adam and I rolled on out to Kansas to hunt with a friend of mine on his property. I've hunted there in the past and took a great buck with my bow there two years ago. So we were super excited to get out to Kansas knowing the potential that that state produces year after year. Hunting in eastern Kansas with a friend of mine who's a spot and stock hunter. He doesn't use tree stands, so it's going to be a great hunt. Great for me, a little challenging for Adam toting that camera all around. These couple of days have been warm and swirling winds, and we were waiting to go into a better area and kind of collect sign from the distance, always working on that MRI, most recent information. 140, something like that. I couldn't tell if it was three or four was running. Saturday afternoon, Adam and I went up through the woods again, moved a little closer to an area I'd had past experience with, just kind of scouting and checking if there were acorns in the area. We ended up having a great encounter with the doe, but more importantly, we could hear turkeys and squirrels working acorns on both sides of a small native grass field where we were watching. Less than 60 seconds ago, it was going that way. That's why Adam and I used a whole system to reduce our scent to a minimum. So as we're walking through, not much scent is coming off our clothes. It was forecast to get into high 30s Sunday morning, by far the coldest day of the 2012 season. Adam and I were up early, made the drive to the property, got dressed on site before light, and slid into this little native grass bottom where I'd have had past success. About 40 yards into it, Adam and I simultaneously said, there's a shooter, and hit the ground, moving back to the wood line. It's odd how these things work out in hindsight. Exactly where we slid in 
We filmed a buck making that scrape that I end up harvesting a few days later. We were treated to seeing those antlers go back and forth as he worked an overhanging limb and had a lot of tense moments thinking he might walk off into cover, never to be seen again, or turn back and possibly offering a shot. Thermals and predominant wind are fighting for superiority. They're starting to do this in that field. Unquestionably, that buck has an opportunity to pick up our scent. Adam and I are both starting to feel that wind hit us solidly on the right cheek, which means it's traveling up the field toward the buck. The predominant winds are winning the battle, and as that buck moves a little bit across the field, his head's up, and you can tell he knows something's not good. He literally stands in one place, head up, not bobbing like he saw something, head up, trying to get better whiff of something for four minutes. The only option is to wait. He could walk towards the doe, there's a little rise that would expose his kills, or back into the tall grass to be gone forever. Drop him. Drop him. Give it to me, there. brother. <clears throat> I was too excited to turn around and give a composed, macho interview to the camera. <sighs> Did you hear that thing slam him? Fire slam a jamma. Oh, I was holding that gun. And holding the gun. You didn't think I could do that, did you? <laughs> I didn't think we were going to be able to pull that off. Thank goodness, scent control just... You watched, you watched the smoke go to the deer. You knew our scent was going to the deer. They knew something was up, but they couldn't get it because scent control just... That's a good buck. That was amazing, wasn't it? How did that happen? Well, we've up and got our hands on him, and I could not be happier. Clean mainframe 10 with some kickers coming off in front and back. <laughs> well, I just got asked. They asked me, and I said, got asked. Adam and I were on point for quite some time, but the doe really helped us out as this buck's obviously been scraping. We saw him scrape. There's bark and his antlers where he's been rubbing. He's feeling that dating season coming on, and he was curious about that doe. A little blade action going on. You know that boy was going to be rough on trees. Look how gnarly those bases are. Woo, we worked for that one, didn't we? I mean, you know, this is day three, isn't it? Day three or four. Day three or know. four, don't remember, as a good hunt should be. You know, the great thing is we stayed out of this area. We knew from past hunts was a great area till that wind got right and the temperature dropped. But you got to spend some days sometimes waiting for that weather to change. And as you're waiting, 
stay out of your best areas. No need to getting in there and boogering it up and alerting the deer, making them a bit more cautious. This buck obviously wasn't too cautious because the landowner and I had stayed out of this area and that paid off massive dividends this morning. Adam and I took some time to reflect on that and concluded that all the work we've been doing preseason and even during season of cleaning our clothes and how we store our clothes and how we do our personal hygiene using Dead Down Wind and Scent Master, all the steps we take paid off huge dividends and you can bet we'll be doing that exact same system through the rest of the season. The Dead Down Wind and Growing Deer teams would love for you to experience the same type of hunt we had in Kansas. Check this out for a giveaway of a Dead Downwind package and see what it does for your hunting. Official gross score, official gross green score, 168 and an 8. That makes the ride home really easy. I hope you have a chance to get out in the creation and share those experiences with your family and friends, and most importantly, think about the creator. Thanks for watching GrowingDeer.tv.